Hey everybody, I had a quick question on how to do the Star Wars text crawl, which is really easy to do in DaVinci Resolve, but I wanted to go over how to avoid stutter and jitter when moving your text. A lot of people get this wrong and a lot of people don't know about it, but let's go into it and see what's going on and how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our fusion clip. Now the way you move text is you use a transform node. Now you'll probably get in there and you'll probably just go to the first frame, you'll move your text down and you'll go to your last frame and move it up till it gets off the screen. And there's nothing really wrong with that, but that probably is gonna introduce the stutter and jitter that I'm talking about. So let's zoom in and let's see what's going on here. So if I go to these three dots, I can turn off smooth resize. And if I zoom in, I can actually see the pixels. Now some of them are gonna be solid pixels, the others are gonna be somewhat transparent. That's because it's trying to estimate where that line of that text is. It can only do blocks of pixels. If it's not quite on a pixel, then it tries to do this gradient to imitate where that line would be. This isn't a big problem, but when we go to move our text, what's going on is if we don't move it pixel by pixel, it'll introduce more pixels in, more of a gradient, and it's gonna actually change the shape of your text. You can see here, as I move through the frames, it's actually changing the shape of the text and adding more pixels or taking away pixels. If I look at my transform, everything's at the standard zero to one, basically, and 0.5 is in the center. It's basically a percentage of the size of your picture. We're gonna change that. If we go down to reference size, we can change it to pixels. Go ahead and click on auto resolution, and now we have 1920 by 1080. If we go back to our center points, we can see they're now in pixel increments. And as you can see, we have fractional movements there, and that is what's causing the stutter and the jitter. To get rid of that, I'm gonna remove my keyframes. I'm gonna go back to the start. I'm gonna add in a keyframe, get in a position. Normally I would put the text off the screen, but for this, just so we can see it, I'm gonna leave it a little bit on. I'm gonna move one frame over, and I'm just gonna change the position by three pixels. Now you can see as it moves, it doesn't change its shape at all. It doesn't add pixels or remove pixels. It just jumps from line to line. Now you're thinking that's great, but we only moved it three pixels. We want it to move continuously. How do we do that? Well, if I go to my spline editor and highlight my transform, I can go to zoom to fit. There are my keyframes on zero and one. I can just highlight both of those and I can go down this loop that says set relative. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna continue to do the same thing over and over again. It's gonna move three pixels and then it's gonna move another three pixels. You can see as soon as I click on that, it just creates a straight line. And this is gonna move continuously. Now this is great because if I need to change this text, I can just go back, add stuff in, and it's just gonna keep moving. Then I just need to go back to my edit page, lengthen the clip out a little bit, and everything will update just fine. I don't need to add any more keyframes or any of that. If I want to go faster, I just need to go to that first keyframe, change it to say four pixels. And since we have that loop set, it'll just update everything automatically. And that is how you get a smooth credit roll. Now to make it the Star Wars text crawl, all I need to do is add in a DVE node. I'm just gonna hit Control Space, add in a DVE node, hold Shift to drop it on the line, just make sure it's connected. Then you just need to go into X rotation, put it to negative 75, and there you have it. Now all you need to do is change the text color to yellow, use some type of Franklin Gothic, and may the pixels be with you.